In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on Pray. 
Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Tell the sons of Israel this, You must not molest the stranger or oppress him, for you lived as strangers in the land of Egypt. You must not be harsh with the widow or with the orphan. If you are harsh with them, they will surely cry out to me, and be sure, I shall hear their cry. My anger will flare, and I shall kill you with the sword. Your own wives will be widows, your own children orphans. If you lend money to any of my people, to any poor man among you, you must not play the usurer with him. You must not demand interest from him. If you take another's cloak as a pledge, you must give it back to him before sunset. It is all the covering he has. It is the cloak he wraps his body in. What else would he sleep in? If he cries to me, I will listen, for I am full of pity. The word of the Lord. My strength, my rock, my fortress, my savior. My God is the rock where I take refuge. My shield, my mighty help, my stronghold. The Lord is worthy of all praise. When I call, I am safe from my foe. Long life to the Lord, my rock. Praise be to God who saves me. He has given great victories to his king and shown his love for his anointed. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. You observed the sort of life we lived when we were with you, which was for your instruction, and you were led to become imitators of us and of the Lord. 
And it was with the joy of the Holy Spirit that you took to the gospel in spite of the great opposition all round you. This has made you the great example to all believers in Macedonia and Achaia, since it was from you that the word of the Lord started to spread, and not only throughout Macedonia and Achaia, for the news of your faith in God has spread everywhere. We do not need to tell other people about it. Other people tell us how we started the work among you, how you broke with idolatry when you were converted to God and became servants of the real living God, and how you are now waiting for Jesus, his son, whom he raised from the dead, to come from heaven to save us from the retribution which is coming. The word of the Lord. Accept the words of your son. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they got together and to disconcert him, one of them put a question. Master, which is the greatest commandment of the law? Jesus said, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second resembles it. You must love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang the whole law and the prophets also. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we get close to the end of the liturgical year, which is another about four more weeks, today we are reminded once again, you know, We are reminded that as Christians, we need to follow this command of Jesus to love God and to love neighbor. This is something that is so important for us in our response to God in our life as Christians. We need to live this commands out. And so what does it mean to us to live out these commands of loving God and loving neighbor? Well, loving God, first thing, calls us to reflect and ask us, asking us, have we, in a way, dedicated our lives to God? 
Have we given our lives to Him? Have we surrendered ourselves to Jesus, to God? And what does that mean, to surrender to God? It is not just merely like last week, you know, when I spoke, that surrendering to God means to be a priest or a religious. Of course, if that is what God is calling you to and you are able to, well and good. But each and every one of us, we are called to surrender our very selves to God. To give up everything for Him. And He calls us, first thing, to ask ourselves, are we people of prayer? Do we pray or not? Or we only pray when we come to church? Monday, oh no, not Monday, for you all, it's Sunday, Right up to Friday, we don't do anything. We don't pray. We don't have any relationship with God. And it's only on Saturday afternoon. Then, okay, I need to make time to for God. It is, what, 5 o'clock, 4.30, okay, I get ready and I go to church. And I just go because I have to go. And I choose Saturday, 4.30 here because this is the first one. Let me just get over and done with. That doesn't mean that you have dedicated yourselves to God. Yes, you have come to be, a, to be here to fulfill an obligation, to do a ritual, but you have not dedicated yourselves to God. You know, I tell people we can get robots nowadays to do what, you know, to come, to stand, to sit, to, to be attentive. But if you just merely come to do this, then what's the point. If we really see God as a value, if we see, if we recognize that God is God for me, I will dedicate myself to Him. I will give up my life for Him. First thing, yes, I will make it a point to praise Him, to worship Him, to thank Him for all that He has done for me. Dedicating myself to Him also calls me to live a holy life, to avoid sin, to struggle to be a good person. Yes, knowing that we are human, we fall, but I struggle to do what God has asked me to do. That's dedication to Him. I surrender myself. I am willing to struggle. For God, I am willing to do everything for Him. And I recognize what God is calling me to. And I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to sacrifice my time, my talents to give Him glory by what I do and what I say. This is dedication to God. And then dedication to God also then follows, you know, trying to live out what He has called to love one another which is the next thing that we need to do. To be loving towards others doesn't mean that, you know, we need to fall in love with everybody. 
Sometimes there are people whom we don't like. It's fine. You can don't like a person. But we are called to love. And when we are called to love others, we are all called to make a difference in our world. In today's first reading from the book of Exodus, God was telling Moses, look, you tell the people, they need to treat the foreigners well. They need to look out for the widows and the orphans. If you lend to the poor, don't extract too much because you are called not to be the usurer. You need to make a difference. And as Christians, to love others, we are all called to make a difference in our world. That is what Jesus is always calling us to. When he tells us you need to be salt of the earth, light of the world. We are all called to make a difference through the way we love others. Through our interaction, when people leave us, they must feel the love of God. Yes, we all do get angry. Yes, we all sometimes have our faults. But if we continue to do our best to love, that's what God is calling us to. Even though we have our faults. That's why Jesus tells us, you know, to follow Him is difficult. It's the struggle that we all have to go through. Uh, the road to heaven is that low road entered by the narrow door. And that's why, you know, we all need to pick up our cross to follow Him. It is difficult. But we need to strive for it. We need to do our best. We need to make to do our best to make a difference in our world. And that's how we all respond to God. So my dear brothers and sisters, today we are called to reflect and to see in our own lives, are we living out this command to love God and to love neighbor? Have we dedicated ourselves to God, giving ourselves to Him, surrendering everything, our time, our talents? But more importantly, have we surrendered our very selves, giving up our sinfulness, giving up everything so that we can follow Him? so that we can respond to Him. And in that respond also, we are called to love one another. That's the second thing. And so we also have to then reflect and to ask ourselves, have I made a difference in my world? Have I made a difference in the lives of those who come into contact with me? Do I make that difference? So let us reflect. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. 
begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men, for salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God's great love is our rock and our strength. Obeying his commandment of love, we ask him to hear our prayers for the world. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all Catholics, that we will serve God well by reflecting his love in acts of faith and charity and so lead others towards him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they will be quick to help victims of war, injustice and natural disasters and those who have no one to care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the suffering, and those in need, that God will grant them endurance, and their neighbours will bring them solace and aid. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those attending our parish retreat this week, that God will touch them with his love and grace, and so open their hearts to conversion and renewal. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Deacon Clement Chen, on the 15th anniversary of his ordination on the 1st of November, that God will guide and strengthen him, renew him in holiness, and bless him with a spirit of love and courage. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For us parishioners, that we will imitate Christ's kindness by reaching out especially to the lonely and the marginalized among us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, increase our faith, hope, and charity so that the world may see your goodness and come to love you with all their hearts, minds, and souls. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
sisters and my dear brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, and whatever is done by us in your service, may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raise up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, 
gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of this body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. (coughs) the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, proclaiming the gospel of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. Yeah.